Now, how much sex should be allowed on TV? The rules have really changed since I was a kid. Then the show I Love Lucy wasn't allowed to say the word pregnant. They weren't even allowed to show a double bed. These days, however, I can't turn on my TV without seeing sex. Now, I have two kids, and it really creeped me out when they were young. Some sexual commercial would suddenly appear, or content in the program, and I had to explain or distract them. I was glad there were Federal Communications Commission rules that kept the worst stuff off. And in fact, if you have your own kids in the room now, you may want to get them out of the room for the rest of this segment. The FCC's rules ban broadcast TV. That's not us. We're cable. Broadcast TV from showing anything patently offensive, whatever that means. Because of that, during last year's Super Bowl, CBS rejected this ad from PETA. I think PETA is kind of ridiculous and don't think it's true that vegetarians have better sex, but who knows? I assume the ad is meant to be a joke, and I think viewers can decide for themselves whether to watch or not. But a Pew Research Center survey found 75% of Americans want more FCC restrictions. 60% want the FCC to regulate cable television. Penny Nance wants more regulation. She's a former FCC advisor. Now she's head of Concerned Women for America. So you want more? The FCC only has authority on broadcast television. That's the television that goes over the public airwaves, which, by the way, you and I both own, from 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. That has nothing to do with cable. So it's supposed cable to be Cable is us, for example. That's right. You You're watching? <laughs> this is cable. So... So we have very, the FCC has very limited authority. It's supposed to be a safe haven for families to be able but to But broadcast watch. is big, and that's half the audience about for TV. And, and most of the eyeballs. But guess what, John? We own it. If we own the public airways, then we have some, we should have, as the public should have some say-so on what's on the public airways. We should be able to protect our ch children from, by the way, just the worst of the worst. We're not talking about some of what you've shown tonight. We're talking about the F-bomb being, being dropped. We're talking about very graphic sex scenes. We're talking about nudity. And so should there be some standard, John? Should there be no standard at all? Yeah, I think there should be a standard, and okay, so if well, there were no standards, I think CBS, NBC, ABC, they would say, we'll set our standards, and well, the viewer right, can and choose us or that's not. That's why they're spending millions of dollars right now in court fighting against any standards, which have been very, very limited. We're, well, it's tough for them, because some, Bono says the F word on an awards show. Which they could have delayed 30 seconds and bleeped out if they chose. The FCC case where Bono said this word right. was appealed by the, all the TV stations together. And right. just this month, a federal appeals court said it's unconstitutionally vague. It creates a chilling effect on speech. With the internet and the whole world has changed, these rules are stupid. Well, oh, no. we're not talking about the Internet. We're talking about, again, the public airwaves that we But the own. Internet is just so, as available to children. Well, you know, there certainly are choices that parents can make, and parents should make choices in, in all cases of media to protect their children. But, again, we're talking about something very specific. We're talking about the public airwaves that you and I own, and therefore we should have some ability to, to suggest decorum. And so... Well, networks are, are self-censoring. Here's another Super Bowl ad that was Rejected. GoDaddy.com. Oh my gosh. It's a website where you can register dot com names for only eight dollars and ninety five cents a year. And what exactly will you so be doing? So GoDaddy.com tried to run that ad during the Super Bowl, but NBC would not air it. They made a choice, not based on what the FCC is going to do. They know that the FCC barely they weren't for afraid anything. of By a the fine. Way, the FCC does very little on this issue. In fact, they should do more. Shouldn't it be up to parents rather than the well, FCC? Absolutely, the parents do have a responsibility. I never talk about this issue without saying that parents are always the first line of defense in protecting their children. But it doesn't change anything about corporate responsibility. And you and I and others in this country tend to be more squeamish about sex than people in some other countries. If that FCC ruling that I mentioned earlier is upheld by the Supreme Court, maybe American TV will get even racier. Maybe it'll soon resemble European TV. 
Europeans are much more open about sex. Their governments allow all kinds of ads that would not air on broadcast TV here. In this German ad for eyeglasses, the woman's eyesight is so bad she mistakes the gear shift for her boyfriend. We're not going to show you the rest. Here's a Microsoft ad that aired in Switzerland. It wouldn't air here. Could stuff like this corrupt young kids? So, Penny, does it corrupt? American kids, if that were on? The point is, this is America. These are American sensibilities, and we get to decide what goes on our public airwaves. The Europeans can decide for their public, we get to decide for ourselves. There is more sex all the time, and the parents' television councils said graphic sex, violence, and profanity on TV mm -hmm. can cause long term and irreparable harm to children. Well, not just them. Images and words change behavior. And so, therefore, it's important for us to be aware of that and to, to be cognizant of what our kids but are watching. Why haven't they changed behavior? There's more sex than ever. In the last 20 years, teen pregnancy fell. It used to be that 12% of girls got pregnant. Now it's down to 8%. Likewise, we were told that all this sex would lead to more sexual violence. Teens now commit fewer rapes. Rape is down 50%. Well, none of these statistics, it, you know, it live in a vacuum. Certainly, there's other influences that are, are to be determined. But the studies still show that it's damaging for kids to see raunchy graphic sexual content at a young age. It does change. It still. But there's their, more raunchy still, graphic, and there's less damage. It steals their innocence, John. We know at core, and parents know at core, that our children are spiritual beings. They're emotional and sexual and spiritual beings. We are. They're not just puns of the economic forces. It's important for us to protect them. Thank you very much, Penny Nance.